Hello everyone. I have some AliExpress mail. Don't you just love how they pack it? This is those <laughs> puffed up things. But stick with me and we'll open it together. Yep, big old package. And if I have enough time, I have another package that came too that um, we'll get into. So here I go. Honestly, I wonder if Customs in um, New York, not Customs, but well, I guess it is Customs, isn't it? Or wherever they take everything, they look, put it through an um, x-ray machine. With the with the little beads and I mean the little diamonds, I wonder. <laughs> I've always wondered if they think this is contraband or something coming through, because <laughs> there was this hole in here. I probably already cut through it, but there was a hole like they had used a a, a, a light to look in or a thing to look in to see what this stuff is. But then again, it looks like it's been. I don't know. It easily could have been opened on one end, <laughs> slid out. I'm, I'm wondering if that, if you could do that with this one. I'm just being silly. Looks like it's been put in two, two bags. Well, anyways, if they had to get in this, I would think that it would look a lot different when they rewrapped it up. So I'm thinking they either used a little, there was a hold where it was just big enough for like one of those lights that they, that they have, that they'll feed in there. I've been watching too much of that border customs police stuff where they're catching people hiding stuff in, in stereos and karaoke shipments and they stuff drugs and stuff in them and, and they these po po police have to inspect the stuff and I, it's always hit me that you know this stuff when they first diamond paintings when they first come over had, had you can see right here if you can see in there you can see the little diamonds in there and it make, you know, little packets of diamonds. It looks like little packets of, of drugs if they were looking at it through an x-ray. And I've always wondered, I wonder when they first started getting diamond paintings through, I bet they really did a lot of, see now, they, see how this is been cut right there, right here at the diamonds. So I'm thinking they've probably looked at it. <laughs> well darn, it's just plastic little diamonds, a little crap thing. We can't catch nobody this time. Cause see, look, it's... And I'm making all kinds of crazy noises. I apologize. Got me some new little bitty scissors. Like the little ones. Needed it. Needed these bad when I was doing that lap last little dollhouse having to cut out teeny 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 starfish legs yeah okay one two three and I wonder what this oh I know what this is do you remember I had um, one of the last ones that I have done on here with you didn't have all, it had one pack of diamonds, and I believe that's what this is. And I hate to cut it because I don't want to cut my, my little pack. And then all my diamonds be everywhere, and it just ain't gonna help. Okay, so this is for the other, they've, they've included it. There were five, they were missing five, so they put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They've given me two extra. And I had already had something in my cart 
from that company and they said, hey, if you are planning on buying anything else from our company, if you had another painting, these will come a lot quicker if you let me, if you let us put it in with that order. And so I was happy. I was happy to do that. So yes, so I did get those back and that co this company, is, that's good that this company is backing their product. So let's see. Now these are going to be very fancy. Um, let me see how they've got these things set up with. Now this is the first time I've seen them use tape to close these. It's probably because they're so big. Now these are a lot bigger than these are 40 by 60s, I do believe. And I hate this. bunch of tape. So now we're going to see if we can slide this out of here. We could just do this. Okay. And they're using rubber bands. Again, this is another company using rubber bands. You know how I feel about rubber bands. And if this is, oh, see now this company's great. Look, they give you some straighteners. These little things a regular bow big wax and some some beads uh, baggies I mean baggies and the regular tool but it has a, a multi placer on the end I think and some tweezers and a little soft gripper so they get they go out a little over than what they have to do. So I'm very pleased with this company. Um, so far, I'm very pleased with this company. Wait till you see the, these pictures. These are just really... Now this doesn't look like it's a poured glue. It's not the... So you can see the paper, the plastic right here. It's a poured glue. And in fact, I think they travel much better, poured glues. Now there is a little bit of a, a dent here. Let's see if we can get it up here close. You can see a little bit of a dent in there where that was. But I'm glad it's poured glue and and I'm getting to where I like that clear top rather than the the double sided adhesive that they have been using. It looks horrible when you get it. Now here's the inventory sheet and this is what the picture is going to look like everybody. So if you can see it. The woman, the woman in white. I love it. It has, wow, look at all of the colors. They even give a color code. They even give the colors. See how they've they've printed the color beside, and every mark is where they went through and supposedly checked it off. So what we're going to do is we're going to check that later, like like always. But make sure that you put this, fold it to where it's on the outside where you can see the picture. With a, it always once I've checked everything off, if everything comes with it, I put a big check here. That lets me know that I've checked this one. When I'm looking through these, I may store these in a different place, but I can't. I shouldn't do that. Don't do that unless you have your inventory sheet with it because this type of diamonds do not come with the uh, serial number of your picture on them anywhere. So if you don't put this in with these diamonds after you check them, and try not to get them mixed up with the others that come one at a time do one painting at a time checking them off Put if it's a big check it's good or if they're missing something I will put it up here and how many and when it comes in I will cross that off and check through that so that way I know that I got my diamonds and that is a complete set so anyways 
that's how I do that. So I'm going to keep this wrapped around until I can get to it later and check it. So now let's look. Let me move my glasses. I'm worried I'm going to run them off there. I'm going to put these on the floor because they're so big. And we'll get to them in just a minute. But here is the picture. Remember, keep these. You can make little marshmallow garlands with little thin ribbon through these. You cut them in little sections and put uh, a little bit of glue on them and some glitter. And you've got little, little tiny marshmallow garlands for your Christmas tree. I'll have to do that one time on, on here just so people can see what I'm talking about. I paid like almost five, six, seven dollars for a garland, maybe more. And I looked at it and I'm like, this is the stuff I get in my diamond paintings. I need to just do this myself. <laughs> or either make them and sell them on Etsy, whatever you want to do. Well, anyways, here is the picture. It is a 40 by 60. I love big pictures. Isn't this elegant and pretty? Isn't she beautiful? It's going to be hard. Let me see if I can't um, get her to stay down a little better. By, oh, <laughs> having problems. Well, oh man. I hope to gosh this is not. I mean, um, before I even pull that back, I want you to see the wrinkles in this. I want you to see the wrinkles in this. If you can. Can you see all the wrinkles in this picture? I'm hoping, see I have to check to see if you see what I'm seeing. And you have to do it a certain way so that the light will catch it. But yeah, that is pretty bad wrinkles. And it's from how they put this plastic on. The top looks worse than the bottom. And it's, the glue seems to be very, 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 very sticky. Or either they've put the wrong side down. When you're having to really pull to get the plastic to come off, it could be the fact that they messed, made a mistake and put the wrong side down. But I am seeing some of these. Come on, I hope this stuff comes out. Come on, no wrinkles. We're not seeing wrinkles everywhere. Oh, no. Yes, wrinkles everywhere. And I'm having a hard time moving this. And I think, I think they put this on the wrong way. Let me see. Yep. They put it on the wrong side. The plastic can actually, when you put it on the wrong side, it can actually pull the, the you see how I'm having to pull this? Yeah, it's on the wrong side. Okay, let's not go back. I'm growling at it again. Okay, let, oh, no, 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 no having issues today you can see and I'm gonna turn it sideways so it's easier to see I guess but if you can see the please don't I want to get this to where you can whether or not you can see wrinkles in there okay this is definitely one let's see if you can see it like this it on the surface maybe you can see how wrinkly it is I don't know if you can tell because I'm having I'm, I'm really limited on how I can hold this um, you see that right there in her face see all those wrinkles those will be seen and it's gonna be really hard to get that out because it is really teeny tiny thin ones and but they're raised enough to where they will and I mean it's everywhere it's everywhere on this so I'm really worried I may have to I'm gonna have to take pictures of it don't 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 I'm gonna have to take pictures of it this is the first cord glue that I have seen 
be this bad. And I'm trying to let it kind of go on its own softly down. Let's see if that helped it a little bit, but no, it's pretty bad. So I'm very upset. They're poor glue. I love poor glue, but this isn't good. I want to have to show pictures. I mean, they went out on a limb because even to try to have a better quality um, diamond painting experience for the for the buyer, they I mean they 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 gave extras in the bag of tools. They gave extras in the diamonds whenever I checked the others that came from there but whoever put the it's as wrinkled as I honey it probably has as much wrinkles as Methuselah did you know if you don't know who Methuselah is he was the oldest man ever lived in the Bible well you can imagine that poor soul had some wrinkles you can imagine he probably had more wrinkles than all of us. Then again, yeah, this, the top of this is actually put on wrong. I think they put it backwards. The bad side down on the glue. Because, that buddy, boy howdy, is it hard to pull it off of here. And the, the canvas is wanting to go with it. To get it started is, is, a booger, I'm telling you. Come on, youngins, let's get this thing going. And there's wrinkles all in this glue. I'm gonna have to message them and send pictures. This is sad because I was this is one of the favorite ones that I had picked. Um and got it big so it would be nice to put on the wall. And I'm going to tell you right now, I want you to look. Youngins, I want you to look. Look at this. If you can see these wrinkles. Can you see them? I hope you can see them. You never know what's, how it comes across on the video if I get the, the lighting right. But you're not really wanting to look at the actual grid. You're wanting to look at the surface of that glue and you can see hopefully how bad all of those wrinkles are oh well we're just gonna have to go with it I guess because there's some that's I might could fix some of them but I just don't think I could get all of it out this is just, this is Methuselah's wrinkles right here, buddy. I'm telling you, I'm just going to have to tell them, this is how it come. You need to send me a new canvas. They don't need to send me the, the, the diamonds. I wouldn't request diamonds. Just send me a new canvas and try to make sure that it doesn't have, I mean, the plastic tends to have a little bit more wrinkles on it, but most of the time they work out. For some reason, this one was put on so horribly, maybe because it was so big, it was just, it, I don't know, I, the back of it, you can see a little bit of the, where the, the rubber band had been. But that's not enough to see once it's done. I don't know. I may just try it, try to fix it myself, and let's see how these others come. Well, I'll get out this next one. Let's hope. Let's hope. Please, Lord, let this be a good one. Let's see. <clears throat> they, this is the second one. I just opened it up. For some reason, the... the camera wasn't recording even though I pressed the button it made it's little sound 
I don't know what's going on. It's one crazy bunch of world out there now. I'm telling you. Got up today and got it, went out. I had to take, get the oil changed. And I'm telling you what, it is cold. It's cold out there. I Rainy and cold. Here it is, uh, mid-May, and it's freezing. It doesn't know that it's in May, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, it gives you... Like, like the other one, it comes with all those wonderful tools. The tweezers, the finger grip, baggies, boat, straightener, and then a placer, a three-placer with this, so, with the pin. So they, that's really nice of them. And remember, all of these are in um, just bunches. Each one is just hand-picked in a bunch or however many you need and throw it in there. The inventory sheet and this company is not inside this. It is inside the picture. So do not open multiple ones because you don't, like I said earlier, you don't know which one this pack goes with until you put that inventory sheet in with it. So again, there's rubber bands and you can see how it grips, but they're using such tiny, weak bands that it's not able to, I mean, it's not putting in enough dent for it to stay. So what we are looking for with this one is if the wrinkles from Methuselah is in the plastic and in the, this actual picture. So, and from one little glimpse, I can tell you right now, it's the same as the first. Here is the picture. Can get it away from that glare for you. It's a little girl sitting with her little puppy in a chair in front of her. Sort of a Victorian or something type picture. This one is um, a 40 by 60 and just like the other one the inventory sheet comes with the colors. The co color code and then how many it, it uh, uh, was supposed to have, how many bags, and how many actual diamonds. So they got, they are a really good company. I, I'm not liking how wrinkled this is. I'm really not. I'm really, 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 really not liking how wrinkled this is. Okay, the bottom. Woo! Yep, keep those young ones. We don't like to waste anything that we can make things out of. Okay, I'm going to roll this up till just the bottom so that way it's easy to see. And if you can see the wrinkles here on this picture, it's wrinkled, slap, uh, I'm telling you, Methuselah has struck again on this one. Poor Methuselah. Did you know God told him that it would not rain? Because so this is uh, Moses' family member. Grandfather or great-grandfather or great-great-grandfather. He was the oldest man lit, that lived. Um, okay, Mumsy. I'm putting you on the spot. In the comments below, who knows how long Methuselah lived without Googling. Don't cheat. Put it in the comments down there. Okay. God told him it wasn't going to rain until after he died. Well, while they were building the ark, and they were done, and it was time for it to rain, and then we'd get in the ark, Methuselah died. Yeah, I, I do believe I'm telling the truth. Mama can fix it in the bottom comments if, if I'm a little wrong. Some people don't want to hear about Bible stories, but, you know, I think it's very interesting, some of these things. Yep, you see all them wrinkles? See all that? That's not just in the plastic. That is in the glue. Okay? That is in the glue. So, I'm not very happy. I want to like this company so much. They did send my beads, my, my diamonds that was missing. They did send those. They did try to get them to me. 
and maybe they're just now trying out the poured glue um, instead of the other and it may not be because this is the first company I've seen that sends the big ones these big sizes um, um, with the poured glue plastic top so if you look at this I know I'm upside down you can see hopefully oh if I can keep it down. Can you see that it still has the wrinkles in it? Let's see. You see them wrinkles all the way across there? What would you do? Would you ask for another canvas? This is the... Both of them are like it. I so hate to be picky. I like to give them the benefit of the doubt, you know. I don't want to waste stuff. This would just go in my drawer over there or be thrown away. Um, I, one of them that I had to have replaced was so bad that, it, but it was such a sweet picture. I just, I couldn't part with it. I haven't done it. They did send me a new one. It was a lot, a little better. But I just, I can't, it's hard to throw away something. You know? I'm like, well, you know, what if my mom wants to do that one and I don't care whether or not it has wrinkles in it? You know. We have to remember this is still crafts, still hobbies. And. Some, but some people do care about it. They spend their money on it. Um, let's just each individual person how much they're going to put up with as far as quality. But this is really a cute picture. Is that not a cute picture? Let's see if I can get it without the glare. Got to get a. Got to get a. Um, uh, I think that'll make an alright picture for our YouTube channel. What do you think? Yeah, I think that'll be alright. But, there again, this one wasn't as hard to pull off. So, I am thinking they got this one on the right side. See how it just, like butter, comes right off? That other one, I'm thinking, not so... They've got it on the wrong one. See, I'm pulling it off. And not having to real. You don't see me wincing. Trying to get it off. Because when you have to do that, you're you're risking pulling that glue right on off of there. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um. Let's put this with. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's check the third one. Not doing too well yet. <laughs> and if any of them are missing any diamonds, I hope not. I'm gonna go through them really good. They made me. They they wanted me to check them, recheck it, recheck it before they sent it, which I understand. I I totally understand that. Some people could lie and say, "Hey, five different." bags of diamonds went in here sent them to me and, it, and, and, it, and they may need it from, a, from some other picture from another company you know but some people are just you know how people are there's just I hate to say it there's liars out there you know Cain did slow Cain did slew slew Abel kill Abel with a rock so yeah so again, here are the diamonds in this, and it's a big bunch of diamonds, okay? Um, we do have the rubber bands, but I'm not so concerned about the rubber bands. And this, this company's little rubber bands don't seem to be doing anything to hurt it. 
um, lasting. And here is the inventory sheet. This is the picture and the stamp of who checked, who who pulled all the the packs of diamonds. That is their stamp right there. And you see they used a yellow marker to go through and get all those off. That's a lot. That is a lot of diamonds that they've had to go through. And I'm it's not one. Um. This camera is really giving me a hard time with, with um, up close. Oh, another one of them. Make sure this goes with the correct diamonds. You see, I got them over here. I like this, and I've stacked them. And again, it's the same thing. It's just the poured glue. It being a big picture, it's hard to put it down on there. And here's the top half. Half of this one. It's hard to get it to stay. Top half of this one. Isn't that sweet? Holding her baby or her grandbaby. You just, these things just really, I love them. They're so sweet. And they're such elegant pictures. Let me see the bottom. Okay, now let's see the wrinkles. That's such a beautiful picture, and now you're seeing the wrinkles on it. All right. You see all those wrinkles? Really bad. Bad, bad, bad. Very disappointing. Very, very, very disappointing. Um, now this is the second time that I've ordered from this company. First time, the pictures were, were pristine. We didn't have any issues. They weren't this big, but they didn't have any issues in, and I'm trying to see if there's, you know, if they don't know that there's a bad side, this is kind of tough. People don't know there's a bad side of this plastic. They think both sides is okay. It's not. And it seems they have put the bad side down on this one. I'm really having to pull it. Looking like Superman, I mean, yeah, Superman in Justice League. When he's holding the rope with Wonder Woman, he made a face pulling. She's supposed to be as strong as Superman. I don't know if that was before he, he he come back to life or after or whatever, but yeah, DC Comics. You know, a lot of people don't like, they like the Marvel. But I grew up with Christopher Reeve, Superman, and nobody could feel his shoes as, as Superman. Now let's see if we can get these wrinkles on camera. There are wrinkles all over this poor picture wrinkles all in there in the glue and no amount of flattening it under a heavy stuff is going to get those out these are wrinkles in the glue so anyways but anyways Christopher Reeve we grew up with Superman Superman was our hero, and I grew up with Wonder Woman, Linda Carter in the 1980s. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Henry, C Harry or Henry Cavill, Cavill is how they say, I think, his name, that is now doing Superman. I'm telling you what, I like him better. I think I like him better. He has filled that, that role that nobody else after Christopher Reeve could feel. They've had so many different people try it. They've put some wimps in the in in his spot. This guy, this guy is just likable. He is Superman. Because Superman was a very likable character in his comic books. The fake fantasy comic, comic books. But you know, sometimes you like to 
imagine what it would be like if we could fly and have superpowers. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. We, we know the difference between reality and play. All right. You see the, the wrinkles here in the glue? This is, this is without the top on it. You can see when I go back and forth where those wrinkles are in that glue. The cover has been pulled back. I will send this video to the company and let them see because you know if they may not know it's happening and they would appreciate feedback. The glue feels pretty sticky. It's not really pulling my finger hard but when I go to pull it back. But it feels like it'll be okay. It's probably going to be one of those that's a little bit more slick than sticky. So I have to be careful of that. Um, when you put down, when you're first starting to put them down, there's not a lot of uh, diamonds around them. And so it will slide. It's stuck to it, but it's it slides. <sighs> so, yeah. Yeah. So that's with the cover on. And I've got the heat on because it's so cold today. And it's making me hot in here. This little room because I have the door shut. Okay. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through these, check these off, these diamonds. Well, yeah. We'll do. Well, wait a minute. Let's open up this other one from another company. And it's in a box. Like I said, what did I say, everybody? They stand on their China stands on their mountains of packages that's going out of the country. <laughs> you see this? That's a box. It's a box in there. Yep, it's just a box. Let's get out the scissors. that away look tell me they don't stand on their stuff okay now this looks horrible doesn't it okay so if this would come out like them others with all them wrinkles in it would be more <laughs> understandable but they weren't they they weren't pressed and stepped on like this at all so, I'm really interested to see if this one, and this is a different company, this is Diamond Painting, um, I don't know what the, it's not saying the company on here, but I will put it in. I'll put it up on here. Hawkan. This is Hawkan, and look, it is is bent it's shrink wrapped in a, a tough plastic and you can you can see the picture there <laughs> this is what they they sent the same little except it's the the light colored one with the little glitter in it and the white boat and the no baggies and some tweezers so that's what they have sent in that one right there so different companies send in different things see the difference Hawkan and this company I'll have to put the name up, up for you but it comes with all that totally different they didn't have that kind of, I really want to like that one company so let's see if we can get that Okay, we're good. And again, they, this company puts all those in single um, baggies instead of an actual manufactured bag. These come from Hawkan 
in baggies like that so you can see that and they do have the numbers on them let me see if I can grab them up right you can see the numbers on them right there let's hope they've included a yeah, they do. This one I had to open. It was shrink wrapped. I had to cut it and and just pull it out. So if you have one of these baggies from another, when you get done with the painting, let's say I get done with this painting and this thing's left over, keep a couple of these so that way you can put ones that you're having to check like I am right now um, in one because once you open it up, you put that in the trash and I'm trying not to cut my canvas to get this glue. Now, if they use tape. They use one single tape. Okay. This one is a double-sided tape. You see how it's got a non-clear top to it. All right. Here is the picture that it's going to be right here. You see these? Isn't that the cutest thing? It's a brother and sister and a little puppy waiting. It reminds me of whenever the little children were sent west. Now, if you go on uh, Amazon, there's a western, westerly train, orphan train or whatever. I may put the link in or details in the comments where little orphans were sent west and people could come and adopt them. It also reminds me of when the, the Jews in before World War II had to send the children, their children, to uh, England and other countries on those trains. And some just barely got them on there before they weren't able to. So, one second, I'm going to change out my battery. As I was saying, this little picture reminds me so much of those little children that um, were sent off for some reason or another. And some of them, like the one for the Wild West, uh, Wild West, but the Western one here in America, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the kids were sent west out of orphanages because they were in such bad oh man these are single pieces single strips of okay okay that's just on the edge okay now when you go to pull these up the corners want to pull up the pla the the glue with it so when you pull it up when you get that corner make sure that you've rubbed down with your fingernail the corners really good so that way when you go to pull it up you're not pull, you're not pulling up the glue there was a wrinkle okay my little grand girl is outside the wall here i mean outside the door and she's she hates not being able to be on the film on the channel and so she's outside the door talking. If that gets on your nerves, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's grandbabies. Okay, now where these two little edges meet, and see this is the thing, they put these things on sometimes in sections. It can leave a, a, a noticeable section um, line. I have not had any problems with it messing up the picture finished picture but you have to be very careful sometimes if you pull one up that's underneath it's overlapped then that's how it gets pulled up but you'll see it when I when I hold this up in just a second you shall see these cute little faces look at the face of that little girl is that not the precious little thing Little brother taking care of little sister. You know, it looks like it's just going to be a train station. So, yes, this right here pulls up my heartstrings. 
really, really, really pulls at my heartstrings because this did happen in both countries. There was, and it probably all countries, where children, in some way or another, find themselves in situations where they're at the the mercy of caring individuals. Be someone that's caring for children. They're not something to throw away, get rid of. Um, if you can't afford them, you can't do it. They've got, here in America, they have Daniel's Law, where people can actually drop their baby off under a certain age that, you know, that's just had a newborn or whatever. And they drop it off in these little boxes that alert inside the hospitals or whatever location it is, and they come get them immediately. And it doesn't hold the person responsible or nothing. So that way they can get much needed health care, much needed help. Um, so this is sort of like what that train was doing. These people, it's very interesting to watch that documentary. It's on Amazon.com, and I will put it in the comments below and see I'm gonna have to rub that down I hate to this is sort of a depressing <laughs> but it's just so sweet you just want to love them you just want to love these little babies now I'm gonna do the bottom now this one is a, actually a happier diamond painting experience right here because it's not uh, wrinkled a bit. Okay, now I've got three pieces of paper to hold so, while I hold this up. So, bear with me, youngins. Let me get it up here. And then you can see the little doggy and their little shoes. And I think that is a suitcase the little doggy's on, but I can't really tell at this point but it's them with their little coats on where they're waiting in the little train station so yeah and there are a little bit of imperfection areas in this but not as bad as the other one these will probably be a little bit harder to get out um, you can see where that's part of the blue and you know Overall, this isn't as bad as those others. Like I said, I hate to be choosy. I hate to be, I hate to be like that. I want to be thankful for the things I got. There's like, like with these little children, they're thankful that somebody's going to come get them, protect them. And, you know, it could be worse. I could have not gotten anything from them. Um, and they could have just took my money. However, they do need to know that, yeah, there's people, there's children eating out of dumpsters. They found an 18-year-old back years ago eating out of a dumpster. 18 years old and only weighed 40, 47 pounds. Had been living in a foster home. Everybody else was big where they had been eating on, high on the hogs, what Southern people say. When they're big and heavy, they, they eating high on the hog. That poor 18 year old boy, 47 pounds. Just look, pray for the children of this country and of the world. We need to be their voice. They don't have a voice. Who's gonna be their voice? I am pro-life and I stand behind it big time. And I know I may lose some subscribers, but I'm sorry. Who is gonna be the voice for little children when we have so many options to send them to, to get them looked after? Send them to me. I love them. I love them. I know I have a um, hard time with stress because of my help. But I'd rather them be safe than anything else in the world. Safe and, and took care of. Okay, now this one from Hawkeye did not come with an inventory sheet. That makes me upset. They know that people like to have inventory sheets. How can we check to see if we have all these here if we don't have an inventory sheet? Now, we do have this on the side here, which I'm going to have to go put this whole thing in my printer to print this out. I'm going to, I'm going to print two of them out. One to, to uh, 
cut and put on my um, in, in my individual diamond trays. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to make my own. But see, a lot of people don't have a lot of people don't have um, a printer. Uh, I know in this day and age of technology, there are people that don't have a working printer or don't or run out of ink or don't have printer at all. They have to drive to the library and get it. I mean, how, who wants to take kids to the library, haul it out to the library, take take, take and get a, a copy of it? But we'll do it. We're crafty. We'll, we'll get out there and we'll do what we have to do. So I'm going to check to see if all four of these have their diamonds and I'll be right back. Okay, that was number 10. So yes, we've, we've got it. So I'm going to put a little red mark. Okay, number 10, yes. Got number 10. We put it in the bag. Number 23. Got number 23. Oh, they're falling off on me. Number 13 is 777. Got that. Number 24. We've got number 24. And again, it's not telling tell me. It tells me how many is supposed to be in each packet. And see, that one was open. Number one is 152. Got it. Okay, we got that in there. And I'll be right back until I get all of them done. Well, I have, you can tell I've done it really fast. I'm all, like I've been running a race. Did it really quick. But I have checked each and every one. All of them has, and you can see I've put a check mark. All of them have their, all of them. All of them have, have have all of their diamonds. In fact, if you can see on there, I don't know if you can, with the way that this thing is doing, you can see that I have even wrote down if they sent extras. So this is how many packets were supposed to be in it, and this is how many they sent. So the majority of them, if with this company right here, that had the poured glue, clear top, clear, uh, paper, sealer paper on the top, whatever you, I can't think right now. Anyways, um, it has, they all have their diamonds. Some of them was loose and I caught them and put them in little baggies and put the number on the baggies and put it in here. So that way I'm not losing any, but they give us extra and most every time, uh, there's only three or four maybe that didn't have an extra bag or two or three per color so that this company really wants to do a very good job they really do the only thing is is there was all those wrinkles in it they give all this extra stuff in their bag in their in their toolkit I just it's hard to fault that company um, I just I'll let them know that there was wrinkles in there and I'll work with it and see if I can't get it out. Um, if they want to send me new ones, that's that's up to them and that's fine. But if they don't, I'm not going to ask because they have, obviously they are doing good and I may even tell them to look, I don't want to waste the canvases. I'll go ahead and do them. I just want you to have the feedback so that way you'll know to really watch the sealing of that top paper, the top plastic on that poured glue to make sure it's put down really carefully. Um, this one also had from Hawkin. Hawkin, the, the pros of Hawkin is everything comes in their baggies. Um, and really the only thing I can say about Hawkin is their pricing is really good. However, they don't have an inventory sheet, so I had to write on here that it did have all of its uh, um, diamonds, and I had to check them off with the grid key on the actual picture itself, and having to open it up and go ahead and lay it flat, whereas I can't store it until I'm with, done with it. But see, I, ha I have other storage containers now that I can, uh, and I've, I have them in um, another video, and I might put it down below if I can remember. But it, 
it won't hurt me because I'm prepared to lay it flat in something so it'll be safe. However, I don't like the fact the cons, haul can, a lot of times there's trash and dirty drills. I have not checked, I won't know that until after I do the painting. Um, I had to put the inven the actual serial number on this and the description to children with the boy and girl train station with dog. That way I won't, if I'm putting these in a separate location, I'm forced to anyways, because if I'm gonna store it before I do it, I've had to open it up. And that's, that on that picture, there's where the inventory sheet is on the picture, not in here. And the individual packs do not have the serial number. So I had to do that myself. So make sure that you look for these little things like this when you're ordering. Make sure you're watching for these things. Always open them up and, and check off. Check off all of these to make sure you got them because you can message the seller on AliExpress to send them to you if you do not have them. Um, they'll want a picture of the inventory sheet. They'll want you to have They'll ask you to go over it again, look through it once or twice more. And, uh, or if you have any wrinkles, they'll want pictures of those wrinkles and how, what they look like, um, and how bad they are. And, you know, any reputable com company's going to want you to prove what you're saying. You, they're just not going to send out brand new, um, paintings just on a whim, just because... Cause you know there's a lot of people take advantage of that so anyways i hope that this has been informative um i'm sorry that these beautiful pictures have all these wrinkles in them it is to be expected you're going to get wrinkles in some of your pictures the smaller ones tend to not have as many wrinkles when you grow when you get up there into the 640s 60 times 40, 50 by 50, anything above that, you do risk getting wrinkles in your picture. Just depends on how far and how deep and how bad they are personally that you're willing to accept. To be, you know, I've had some on, on some of my paintings, especially the worst ones were on... Um, special ordered ones that I did of my grandbabies as babies. And you probably can see them in the very first videos in the background of my very first videos on the channel. And you can see those there. There were some major wrinkles and that was before I knew how to get them out with an X-Acto knife. Now, as I said, X-Acto knife, you have to use it very carefully. You don't want to cut through your canvas. Please don't cut through your canvas. You're just wanting to cut a little bit in that glue and take a straight edge or one of these things that they give you and push it down, push the air out. Sort of like whenever you're placing a decal on, on your vehicle's window. You want to make sure you get all those bubbles out and things like that. And that is similar to that. You pinprick it. Actually, on a car, you're really not supposed to try to get it out with a card or anything like that after pin pricking until you let the, let the sun get on it. A lot of times it'll shrink some of those uh, bubbles and disappear some of those bubbles without even having to pin prick them. Give it about three or four days in the sun, then pin prick, and then use something to kind of push it out. But the heat will usually get those out of there. That's a little bit of a tip that I learned doing a few little details on cars, which I've done uh, a, a little on my own, on my own vehicle. So um, with all of that being said, I'm pretty happy. I love these pictures. I'm very disappointed in the, in the, um, Frodo's at the door. <laughs> He's wanting it. Did you hear it? Anyways, I, the, the creases and the wrinkles are, something that is uh, irritating to me. Now I have gotten a lot here lately that looked like it was going to be wrinkled and it wasn't so I'm thankful for that. <sighs> Wish me luck. Maybe I, these I can get this out enough. Maybe they'll flatten out enough. But it, it's just really teeny tiny 
spider wrinkles everywhere. Okay, this one I think was around. The little boy and the little girl, that was a round painting. I forgot to tell you that. Um, I think the, the girl, the lady holding the baby girl, well, the little girl, is a round. And the lady walking through the woods, it's a round. I think all of them are round. Yep, they're all round. Okay, I'm going to go back and check and make sure that I've ordered these in square if they've sent me round pictures that'll be another issue but i'm not sure and i'm not certain i'll put it right here what i ordered them as so hopefully hopefully i'm not mistaken and everything goes well thank you so much for watching thank you for caring and sending this taking the time out to send a, uh, a comment to post a comment below and tell me how you like these. Y'all be good. Be good to each other. Pray for each other. Love one another. And thank you so much for being my friends. Bye.